shouldn't be too alarmed if they have immediate trouble trying to listen to the tortured poets department on platforms like Spotify. Regardless, the album will be available to listen to on music streaming services such as Spotify and Apple Music on April 19th. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are planning ahead as they kick back for some downtime. The loved-up couple has been in the spotlight due to the commitments of their respective careers, the lover-singer recently wrapped up South Asian Leg of Her Era's tour, while the NFL player capped off football season with a victory at the Super Bowl XVIII last month. They are enjoying movie nights in her home theater, catching up on films and shows they've missed, they explained. They can finally rest and intend on spending quality time together and with friends and family, the insider told the outlet, as Swift works up her skills as a host of small, intimate gatherings with her inner circle at home. Regardless of their preferences for downtime, Taylor and Travis are determined to see as much of one another as possible, as per the source. The insider also gave an insight into their prospective plans for the rest of the break, saying, Toward the end of the month they're still talking about going on a private vacation where no one can find them before her new album drops. A new era of Taylor Swift is upon us, and nowhere is that more apparent than within her wardrobe. The singer will release her 11th studio album The Tortured Poets Department on April 19th and in the lead-up, Swift is pivoting her style from the glittery, astrology-inspired aesthetic of Midnight's to a more refined and elegant palette, you might even call it poetic. As evidenced throughout her record-breaking era's tour, Swift adopts a distinct style for each of her album releases. These eras are always defined by an overarching color, green for her self-titled debut, yellow for Fearless, purple for Speak Now, red for Red, duh, sky blue for 1989, black for Reputation, pink for Lover, gray for Folklore, neutrals for Evermore, and finally, midnight blue for Midnights. After nearly a dozen records, white and orange are the only colors Swift has not yet utilized. Many fans speculated the latter would be her select hue, but given some of her most recent looks, it seems Swift has chosen a much more muted color to represent her Tortured Poets album. Swift set the tone for her next era at the 2024 Grammys on February 4, when she announced Tortured Poets while accepting the award for Best Pop Vocal Album. For the occasion, she donned a long white gown from Schiaparelli Couture, complete with a sky-high thigh slit and a long train for maximum melodrama. This was a shocking choice, because up until then, she had been hinting heavily at a reputation, Taylor's version, released through a stream of all-black ensembles punctuated with various snake-inspired accents. Though this marked her most noticeable style shift, it seems Swift actually started laying more subtle Easter eggs months before. The pop star wore several white looks while out in New York City during her era's tour. This was most prevalent when she was photographed outside of Electric Lady Studios in May 2023, when she was likely recording Tortured Poets. A similar ensemble would later be reflected in her album cover art. That said, she hasn't started changing her era's tour looks to reflect Tortured Poets yet. But why would she? It's a whole new era that's definitely not included on her set list. At least not yet. She did, however, offer a small nod to her blossoming aesthetic, sporting white bright nails at her six Singapore concerts from March 2nd to 9th, the final shows before the album's release. The first Tortured Poets cover, which Swift posted right after announcing the album, is a black and white portrait of her lying on a bed surrounded by crisp, white sheets. Her new vibe is made clear through this image alone, but the hints continue from there. Her additional cover strikes a similar chord, though the backdrop has changed. Instead of white sheets, Swift dons an oversized white button-up shirt, similar the one she wore over the summer. While Swift has primarily used whites and grays for her tortured poet's visuals, she threw fans for a loop when she unveiled the album's final cover art. The Black Dog Edition is easily her most dramatic album cover to date, with Swift embracing herself against an all-black backdrop. Though the cover is mostly noir, she pops against the moody background in a simple white tee. Taylor Swift confirms this 1989 fan favorite is the third acoustic song in Disney-era's tour, Watch.
The pop star previously announced that the film's streaming version will include Maroon and Death by a Thousand Cuts. You can hear it in the silence, you can feel it on the way home, and you can see it in the Disney extended cut of Taylor Swift's era's tour film, You Are In Love, aka the third of four bonus acoustic tracks confirmed for the movie's upcoming streaming version. The pop star announced via Good Morning America Thursday, March 14, that footage of her performing the 1989 fan favorite on piano will be included after it was previously cut from the theatrical and on-demand releases of her blockbuster concert picture. This week, she's been confirming the additions of one surprise song at a time on the talk show, starting with Maroon, which was previously revealed in the film's trailer, then Death by a Thousand Cuts. Swift also shared a sneak peek at her performance of You Are In Love at SoFi Stadium, where Ira's tour was filmed over the course of six nights. In the clip, she sits at her now iconic piano painted with colorful flowers, smiling into the crowd as they wave their light-up bracelets in the air. You can hear it in the silence slash you can feel it on the way home, she sings into a golden microphone. You can see it with the lights out, lights out slash you are in love. The Eras Tour movie will become available on Disney at 9 p.m. Eastern Time March 14. In addition to the four new acoustic songs, Cardigan will be shown for the first time. The anti-hero singer's flick first premiered in AMC theaters in October, instantly becoming the top-grossing concert film in history with more than $92.8 million after just one weekend. In December, she made a slightly expanded version available to rent on demand in celebration of her 34th birthday, featuring her performances of Wildest Dreams, The Archer, and Long Live. Travis Kelsey details a lovely trip to Singapore with Taylor Swift. Travis Kelsey had a lovely time in Singapore with Taylor Swift. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end traveled to Asia last week to support his 34-year-old girlfriend on her era's tour and not only did he get to see her in action during two amazing concerts, the couple also got to enjoy some downtime. Speaking on his New Heights podcast with brother Jason Kelsey, he said, I got to see two amazing shows of the era's tour. The last of the leg that Taylor has until she's back at it here in a couple of months. But yeah outside of that, got to get some lovely Singapore food and just catch the views.